Hey friends, I'm Mike. I'm with Swoo Harvest, and today we're going to build a deck on SwooDB.com. Then we're going to show you how to play the AI on Forcetable.net. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, if you haven't already done it, is you're going to want to create an account. I've already done that, so I'm going to not do anything right here. Then I'm going to go to My Decks, and I'm going to create a new deck. Now, don't expect anything great out of this. This is just a, a showing you how. So I'm going to do Luke Yellow, and it's going to be like a Weenies deck. Now, while I'm building a deck, I will go through like how I think about building a deck, though you shouldn't listen to me too closely because I'm kind of terrible at it. You're going to come up here and go switching to cost because I like seeing how everything is uh sorted by cost because i like cheap stuff cheap weenies uh that was my nickname in middle school just kidding so we're gonna go three mining guild ties because when you attack you can pay for two to draw a card and card draws almost always good in games like these then you're gonna go distant controller patroller because when it's defeated you can give a shield token to a vigilance unit then we of course are gonna go I'm, it's a toss-up between Pirated Starfighter and Restored Arc 170, because with the Pirated Starfighter, you can uh, bring a unit back off of the table that is like about to die and that you don't want to lose, so you can play it again next turn. Uh, so we'll go Pirated to see if it works. And then, of course, the Millennium Falcon, aka the Aluminum Falcon. What a piece of junk. So that's 12. Now, all the prevailing knowledge on the game so far says that 12 is about right for space. It just depends on what you want to do. So from space, we'll go to ground. Again, everything's sorted by cost. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go three of Chopper, who has a great on attack ability. Uh, and then we're going to go to the best comedy duo this side of the bathroom closet, R2-D2 and C-3PO. I like their uh, preview a card and card draw ability, uh, because if you attack with R2-D2 first or play him first, then you know what card is on the top, and then you play C-3PO, and then you uh, automatically know what, so then you're able to uh, draw that card if you want. Uh, up next, we're going to go Lothal Insurgent, uh, because it's a two cost. Of course, you're going to be able to play another card, uh, and then I like being able to discard a card from an, a player's hand. Then we're going to go to Ezra Bridger, Resourceful Troublemaker, Troublemaker. I hope they come out with the Jedi version of him. That'd be really nice. Then we're going to go to... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wilderness? There we go. Fighter. Uh, it's a shielded 2-4 for 3, so that I feel like that is pretty good. Then we're going to round it off with old Kanan Jarrus. Reveal the Jedi. And then Chewie, because I like Sentinel, uh, if you can get it off at a good opportunity. So as you can see, we still have 36 cards left, so that's good for space and ground. And ground units I have 24, space units I have 12. We'll go to events next. Now there's a ton of events that look pretty good. Uh, I'm going to do moment of peace, so I can just give shields to, to something. Then we're going to go shoot first, because I like giving my stuff uh, first strike. And I don't know that there's... well... Never mind. We'll go shoot first, then we're going to do Spark of Rebellion, because I like, again, discarding things from people's hands. Then we're, are, we are going to go Surprise Strike, which always makes me think of the Pocket Sand episode of King of the Hill with Dale, which is hysterical. Uh, and now that you know about that, every time you play this card, you got to go Pocket Sand. Uh, and I'm sure your opponent will love that. So we've got 48 cards, and we're going to move on to upgrades. The only upgrades I'm going to put in this are two Luke's lightsabers for when he finally gets on the board. There you go. You've got 50 cards. Once you're finished doing that, you're going to want to go down here to Save Changes. 
don't forget to do that, otherwise you'll click view here and you'll see a blank deck because you didn't save your changes, so don't be as dumb as me. Now one of the nice things about this website is it tells you your card costs and then the aspect, the cards by type, as you can see it's mainly units, and then the cards by rarity, and this does this for every single deck that's on here. So when you want to look at the uh, Agro Sabine uh, deck, you can see what kind of cards you need and then whether it's a viable deck for you based on the odds of pulling like legendaries and stuff like that. As you can see, the majority of my cards are two cost and one cost, 35 in total. So if I don't have R2-D2 out and I have only 3PO, then a lot of times you can go to one or two as your guest, with two probably being a little better, well, slightly better, 20 versus 15. But one and two are gonna be your best bets. So now once you've done that, if you wanted to change the name of your deck, you can, but just by clicking it up there. Uh, shout out to Nick, who is you know, a big fan of Amaranth, just kidding. Uh, anyway. Then you click on Force Table, and it will automatically open the Force Table site for you. You'll see the deck is ready to go as player one. You can assign other decks to it as well. This is a different deck I did, just to make sure that it worked, but we're just going to test it out on the Darth Vader starter. Now, just as, a, as an aside, the AI, while good for grinding games, is only good for really pointing out glaring differences or jamming games as far as like, hey, I need to learn how the game works. Uh, so like, don't do this <laughs> getting ready for a tournament or anything you wanna play against actual people. Uh, so then you can either pick the first player starts, the second player starts, or pick random. I always pick random. And here we go. Everything's shuffling up, we draw six. I'm going to full screen. Uh, let me look at my cards. It's asking me if I want to take a mulligan. I'm going to go no. And then this is the part of the game I hate because I'm no good at making decisions uh, as far as using cards as resources. I do want Chewy, but I don't need him right now. And I do like Shoot First, but I don't necessarily need that right now either. So we'll resource those two, and then hopefully that's the right decision. Okay, uh, it looks like I'm player one. I'm player one, obviously. So then I'm going first because it's random. So I'll go play a card, and then I'll go Spark of Rebellion first. Look at an opponent's hand and discard a card from it. All right. So do I want to discard Probe Droid, Vader's Lightsaber, TIE Interceptor, or Open Fire? Now, again, I'm bad at making decisions, and I make them based on what I don't want to have happen to me. So on the first turn, we're going to go uh, Vader's Lightsaber, because it could make a, a Stormtrooper 6-2, and I don't want that on turn two. So we'll get rid of that. Then they play Viper Droid. Now it's my turn. All my resources are exhausted. One of the nice things is if you hover over the card, it shows you what you resourced so that you can see your shame, I guess, and your bad decisions. Uh, but there's nothing else I can do. There's no units to use Luke's ability on. So I'm just gonna take the initiative and then they'll pass and then it's the next turn. So I have two Falcons, so I'm gonna Resource one of those. I have the initiative, so I'll be going first, and then I will play a card. I'll play the Falcon. I'll attack. Swing for three. He'll swing for three on me. And then that'll be that. I'll take initiative, because I have no more resources. Two moments apiece, so that's the one I'll resource, because I only need the one, maybe. Um, so I'm going to go yes, because I want to attack with him this turn. I may have uh, some juice on him. So I'll attack with him first. 
do a quick three. He'll play that. I'll play a card, moment of peace, give him a shield. Alright, then I'll play another card, Lothal Insurgent. Since I've already played another card, his ability is going to go off. So it'll draw random. Yes, he discarded me. There's other lights. That was pure luck. Don't think it was skill, please. Uh, I have no more resources left. Both of my stuff has attacked. I've got two cards left, so I'll take the initiative. And that was Vader proccing his ability. And also it tells you up here in the chat what is also going on. So if you miss something, you can just scroll up on here to see what happened. Okay, uh, we're gonna go and resource this and go done. Now I'm at five. Do I want to keep the Falcon in play? Yes, because I'll play Kanan. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna attack first with this dude, and I'm tired of getting attacked by that stupid probe droid. His is only on stuff that costs six, so I don't have to worry about that until next turn. So I'll kill the probe droid and give me three damage. We'll trade. He's going to play the interceptor, which will kill the falcon. Now, if the falcon survives, I'll bring it up next turn by not paying the one so that in effect it heals the falcon rather than have it discarded. We're going to play a card. Kanan Jarus. Jarus? Jarus? So much for the Falcon. He force choked it. He force gripped it. Okay, all my resources are expended. Kanan's on the field. I've got two cards left. Nothing else to do. If I don't take the initiative, they will because, well, they'll attack first. Never mind. So here they go, swinging our team for two with the super laser technician so that he can get played as a resource. He should hit the base, which he does. And then there pass, we draw two cards and we do the whole shebang over again. Now, two, three, four, five, I've got five, so I'll do this for old chop so that I can bring out Luke. Okay, I'll attack first with Kanan. Uh, yes, I will discard one. Now, the most I've ever seen Kanan do with his ability is discarding two, because there was only one other specter. And that was typically Ezra, but we'll see. So then we'll go action ability, deploy this leader. Now Luke's up, and of course they're trying to I'm your father him. So I'm going to say no, which is bad, because it gives them three cards, but they only have one resource, so there isn't really much that you can do for it. Now, I've got six resources, which is plenty, so I'll play a card, Distant Patroller, so he'll do that, he'll kill it, which will allow me to give my Luka shield, it's fallen right into my trap. This interceptor is going to swing again for three after I do something. I'll play... Oops. Good thing I noticed that. I'll play Lothal Insurgent. Use his ability. Yes! Discarded this one. Overwhelming Barrage. Uh, Alright, so then uh, Vader's got seven. Excuse me, eight. He's a five-eight. So I'll play a card, do this, swing on Vader with my shielded Luke without taking any damage, put the shield to Kanan, take three from the Interceptor. Then I'll take initiative and kill Vader next turn. I know the game seems close, but trust me, it's alright. All right, uh, I'm not going to resource anything this turn because I've already got my leader out. I have plenty of units, and I just want to try and build uh, some unit advantage. So we're just going to go done. All righty, so I'm going to attack with Kanan. 
to get Vader off the board. I am going to discard one card from my opponent. Perfect. It was a uh, Interceptor. Listen, all my discards have been doing great. Now this is going to bite me in the backside because I'm going to give him three cards. He's got three resources. Now, if you're wondering I, why I keep referring to the computer as him, it's just because I'm a he him. So that's that's my natural inclination. So I'll go swing with Luke for four. Give a shield to Lothal Insurgent. He's going to attack using this dude's ability, which gave that Interceptor plus two. Uh, then I'll go attack with the Insurgent on this dude. Not getting any damage back because of my shield. Ooh. I'm going to have to play a card. It'll be this Distant Patroller. In there, played uh, Recruit. And then I'll play R2. Ooh, Chewy, which is nice, Sentinel. So I know I'm drawing him next turn. Then take initiative. All right, cool. I'm probably going to lose this game, but we'll see. Um, I have six resources. But again, I need some some people because I'm only going to do eight this turn. So I'll swing with Luke. I'll give a shield to Lothal. Wait for the computer to load. There we go. Let's see. Swing on Lothal. He'll attack me. And then I'm probably that that definitely cost me the game because I'm at four and they have five. Uh but I could do this. And then give Luke a shield, but I wish I could do it to R2. Moff Tarkin using his ability to grab other units. We'll attack with R2-D2 onto this guy, trading. And we'll look at Ezra. Yes, I am going to put him on the bottom. Hopefully something better comes out. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, ugh. They have one with four cards in their hand, so I am going to play a card. Strip Luke Shield with his ability, then take initiative. Fancy enough. All right, that leaves me at one, so I'm pretty sure I'm losing this game. Uh, it, I mean, it doesn't matter, so we'll go. We'll just keep everything. Uh, well, it doesn't matter what I do because I die next turn to whatever is attacking. So I'll just. Swing on this dude and give my Sentinel a shield. All right, well, there you have it, friends. The very first game of Swu Harvest's uh, instructional how to build a deck, how to uh, import it into Force Table, and then play a game. Thanks, and we hope you enjoyed it. And take care.